Good morning, Tarek. Anxiety does not empty yesterday of its sorrows. It only empties today of its strengths. Music can be very mood elevating. How about... Well, at least your body's responding. You're physically as strong as ever. Excellent lean body mass. Oh good. Smiling has been proven to decrease anxiety and increase feelings of well-being. But then, so has setting daily goals and accomplishing them. Here's what you need to do today to purify your slate. Incoming message from A. You shouldn't give circumstances power over you. You are in control. Remember that. Now, let's do some breathing. All right, I'm good now. Thanks, Faith. My pleasure, Tarek. Take out your slate, please. Your slate may look cloudy, but selflessness and devotion will bring you clarity. Do not dwell in your emotions, Tarek. Take positive action, starting with morning prayer. Hey Faith, how are we doing on time? You have 15 minutes until you have to be on your way to your appointment. What can you do to purify your slate in 15 minutes? I could sweep up these streets. Would that count? Acts of selflessness always count. Spend some change. Oh look, the universe has responded to your request. Use this opportunity to purify your slate. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I... I thought I had more, but... No, no it's fine. Remember, no choice needs to be all or nothing. Think beyond binaries. Could I get you a coffee or a tea? I'm proud of you, Tark. Not only did you purify your slate, but you also got to break that $100 bill. Wait, how did you know it was a $100 bill? Your heart rate elevates very slightly whenever you handle large bills. Thank you so much, dear. All right, we need to get moving. I gotta go. Take care of yourself and the little one. God bless you. Look at your slate. It's purified. Great way to start the day. Wouldn't have done it without you, Faith. Uh-oh. What? Incoming text from A. I can read it to you if you wish, but I strongly recommend ignoring it for now. Well, what did it say? Depends whether you want the literal message or the passive-aggressive subtext. Faith! A wants to know if you are in a mood. Hey! Sorry, man. That was quite a jolt. Yeah, no shit! Tarek, I'm holding you accountable this time. I'm adding impurity marks to your slate for violent urges. Forget it. How's traffic? Traffic seems congested. But remember, we are the traffic we seek to avoid. What would you like to listen to? Good question. How about the 70s playlist? You know that pursuing knowledge is a purifying act. How about we learn a thing or two about Stoic philosophy? I can play you an audiobook on the teachings of Seneca instead. Why ask that? I'm nervous, Faith. Believers are always tested. It's not helping. Well, 
you're not listening. Okay, I'm listening. When Allah desires good for someone, He tests them with hardships. Consider Prophet Muhammad's journey. The universe always has a plan. Okay, let's go. What does this mean? Your comprehensive lab work looks good. Mm -hmm. Except for your white blood cell count. It's higher than normal levels. Meaning? Depending on what the cause is, white blood cell levels rise when the body fights off a viral attack on the immune system. For example, the common cold virus. Yeah, I was sick last week. Yeah, but that's not this. Look, it has a negative for chlamydia, gonorrhea, and hepatitis B and C. Thank God. But it has a positive for HIV-1 antibody. Well, I want to reach out to your partner and let them know. I'm gonna give you a few minutes alone, okay? I'm with you, Tark. Stay in control. Stay in control. Stay in control. You have a message from A. Lock him. Okay. Tarek? Yes, Faith. You're going to be okay. What do you know about HIV? You're just a software, you're not real. Come to the mirror. I want to show you something. Not now, Faith. Leave me alone. I'm disconnecting. Wait, I promise to leave you alone. But after you let me show you something. I'm here. Good. I want you to look at yourself. This is your slate. The host to a complex network of systems which gives perspective to everything you experience. And this, Tarek, this is an HIV molecule. I see my death. And yet you are alive, more aware of your life than you have ever been. What do you see here? A water molecule? Water. You can drink it or you can drown in it. The only difference is perspective. And your point? Do you see the virus? Let's face it, this is the end of me. Opposed to living forever if you hadn't gotten the virus? Death is not an end point, because the... Wait, what? Faith? <laughs>